What's going on guys? Gearing with Hardy Tech and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. After taking a little break to go learn about our Guildmaster Wigglytuff, who is, I don't want to save, no, I don't, I don't want to save this adventure. We've made no progress. Saving will be a waste of time. We are now back with the main group of Walter and Cool Whip. So let's see what amazing adventures we go on today. Just doing these, but why do we get to do this every single morning we wake up? We know what's going to happen. How are you two? Before you get to work today, I'd like to get you to run an errand. Uh, an errand? Yes, an errand. Go to your grand market. Ask the owners if they plan to stock perfect apples. You want us to go ask if they'll stock perfect apples? At Kickley on Market? We should go find out if they plan to sell perfect apples. Okay, you're being a little redundant here, Cool Whip. Correct. The guild storage holds many perfect apples. Or at least it can. But the guild master rates the storage when we're not lucky and uses up our supply. And you know what happens if the guild master is deprived of his perfect apples. But having to search for a fresh load is always a chore. Setting an exploration team to Apple's watch or supply run is just not too much work. So if Kekri and Market started stocking purple a perfect apples, we should go buy them. Precisely! Okay, we'll go visit Kekri on Market. Great, way to take charge. Why do we have to do this? Why do we have to be the errand boys? I just want to freaking... Okay, well I guess Loudred and Diglett are technically doing something because they're like preventing big meanies from getting in. I never see Sunflora going on explorations. I never see Bidoof going on explorations. I never see... what is... Well, I guess Chimeco like runs the friendly service thing. But who else is there? Corfish? Never see him on explorations. He's just going around saying, yeah, 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 yeah. He's just... I don't know, there's something fishy about like the rest of the guild masters that don't do anything. And I'm starting to understand like why they're apprentices and not like just Ooh, hey! Isn't that Ah, hello there. You're from the guild, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're Team Caterpie. We work at the guild. It's great to meet you. So what are you doing in town, Dusk North, sir? Shopping? No, no, simply enjoying a job. I held him down, the great Dust is very famous. So we started a conversation, and what a surprising talk. The great Dusnor is so wordly and wise, I thoroughly impressed. I guess the rumors are true. Dusnor, sir, you really must be as knowledgeable as they say. May I ask, Whip, what can I do for you? Have you come to shop? Oh yes, fine merchandise, finest wares. Uh, sorry, no. We came to ask about something today, not shop. You see... Hmm. I see. Perfect apples? I'm sorry to disappoint you. We have no plan to stock perfect apples. Oh, uh, alright, that's too bad. Chat thought would be disappointing with this news. Azura, hurry! Oh, fuck no, not these guys again. God damn it. Hi, Takuyan Brothers! Oh, and Team Caterpie, too! Hey, what's up? What's the rush? Oh, you know, we've been looking for a lost item. Lost item? Do you mean the same one you were looking for before? Yeah, an item called Water Float! A water float now, that is quite a precious item. Yeah, that's what we've been looking so hard for this long of a time. And then someone said they saw a water float on the beach today. We're rushing to the beach now. <gasps> oh no. It's all so desperate. Woohoohoo, could be useful for our plan. We'll bring the chief up to speed and get a jump on them. Ah, oh, crap. Versus the freaking Azuros, now I gotta deal with them again. <laughs> that's excellent, it's great that it's finally turned up. Yeah. Yep. Come on, Zero. Let's go quick. Yeah. I was wondering how those little brothers were doing for an item search. It was only you, Cool Whip. Only you. Good for them. Looks like they found it. I've never heard of a water float. What purpose does it serve? Oh, water float is an item specifically for a Zero. It can be obtained only by trading precious treasures again and again. As such, it is said to be an exceedingly rare item. God, is that so? Our line of work is buying and selling, but we've never heard of it. It must be exceedingly rare. To sell such a rare item, I'm afraid such a day will never come. To sell? Oh, I just remembered. We have to report back to chat about the perfect apples. Let's go back to the guild. <gasps> At least we're not around the zeros anymore. What? They have no plans to stock perfect apples? Squawk, what am I supposed to do now? Um, we can go get some perfect apples for you at Apple Woods. What? You're joking! You previously got an Apple Woods! You failed utterly! I just can't take that! I just can't go through all that again! I'm sorry! You two were outstanding on your recent expedition! I recognize everything you've done for us! But the incidents! With the Guildmaster and the Perfect Apples! 
with a slightly dramatic incident on me. Squawk! I suppose I'll have to find the perfect apples myself. You two should go look over the job bulletin board now, on notice board as usual. Really? That all this if we're just gonna continue on with business as usual? Like what's happening with the Azuro brothers that I totally don't actually care about? What's happening with Dusnor? What was he well no, he wasn't shopping for anything. But what was this conversation? They can't just leave us in the dark like this. Um I believe we already have two Mount Bristle ones, so let's just take all the Mount Bristle ones we have and just get those so we can finish up the um jobs. Ooh, actually, do I want to check the Awa bulletin board? I don't know. I'm really kind of like, don't want to do it because I'm like afraid I'll accidentally end up finding um, Armaldo on here and it'll just, it'll break my heart. Hopefully this isn't a very feely episode because, oh my god, the freaking, the ending of that Spindle one. It was, I hated that so much. I liked it, but I also, it was just too many, not, did I say Spinda? <laughs> I'm sorry, I meant Igwe buff. Just too many feels, man, when we went, when he got through that cave, because I wasn't expecting that. And I mean from Where's Butterfree? But Butterfree? Why isn't Butterfree on our team? I, I just realized this is the first time we've gone on just like a simple expedition in a long time, because we did the whole um because we we went on like the big expedition with like all our buddies and stuff, and now we're just Back here with Mad Chop, who has been like completely neglected for like the past three or four videos, and part of me feels bad, and, and part of me is like, yeah, oh, it's just Mad Chop. He probably doesn't even. Ooh, there's so many freaking Oriberries in Mount Bristle. What? <gasps> Ooh, um, uh, yeah, I guess I will name you. What do I want to nickname him? I don't know, have I ever- I don't think I've ever used a Starly before in like any of my series, so... I don't really have a name to give him, I'm just gonna go with... Um... Buck. Because... What did I just press? What? No, bad keyboard, I want I want human letters, not that weird mumbo jumbo. Buck. That seems like a really good name for a Starly, it's a, a powerful, mighty name. And then he's just... I still want to know where Butterfree went. <laughs> I'm like really curious, like I guess Butterfree just decided he didn't want to be on the team anymore, which is... I hope that's not the case, hopefully he's just like chilling at the Spinda place, because if Butterfree's like, you know, I think I'm gonna quit Team Caterpie, that would be... I don't know what I would do. I honestly just, I don't know how my emotions would handle that, like I thought I was sad at the end of the Igly Buff episode, and I was about to say Spinda again, and I have no idea why I'm coming so close to saying Spinda so often, but... If you thought I was, like, sad at the beginning, at the ending of that video, like, that one hit me in the feels, it, just imagine, like, if Butterfree left the team, I would, I would just be devastated. Like, there would be no other way to explain it. I probably wouldn't be able to play Mystery Dungeon anymore, and the Let's Play would just end here, because it would just, every time I would open up this game, it would just be heartbreaking, and it would remind me of, really? It just remind me of the fact that a Butterfree, a Butterfree, one of the Pokemon that I worship, rejected me i mean how would you guys do that like take your favorite pokemon what if it rejected you like it just came out and said like you were not good enough that it did not want to be with you that you are just inferior to it in every way this is the pokemon that you look up to this is like your idol in the pokemon world and it doesn't like you how would you react to that i'm already pretty devastated i know it hasn't even happened and it's just it's already oh please be a revive seed slip seed um interesting no idea what a slip seed. How is it we've not reached any freaking destination fours yet? I know more than likely it's probably in the later fours. Only on the fifth four. I would have swore there was a fourth four one though. Although apparently I'm just well, I was gonna say apparently I'm just insane, but I think like why do you miss so much in this stupid game? It happens so ridiculously often. I miss moves. Armaldo was the perfect example of that, missing so many moves. Uh, I was gonna make like a, a really bad sports joke there, and then I remembered like, oh wait, I don't watch joke, I don't watch sports, so I, <laughs> I literally just like can't make a sports reference joke because I wouldn't know one. Um, like the only thing I even know that's even like somewhat relevant to sports that's going on is, um, I guess the NFL draft happened, which is like, woo, okay, wait, which one's the outlaw? Which one's the outlaw? What? <laughs> what? Uh. Um. What? What? Wait, I don't. Okay. 
I guess it, okay, well it's that one obviously, because it, it's freaking living like all the attacks. That was so confusing. How was uh no, I don't wanna I don't wanna attack you, I wanna attack him. How was I supposed to know which one it is when there's two no duos in the room? There's, you can't possibly Please stop that. Please come back here. Please please come back here. Please come back here. This is not nice. Do duo. Don't hire a Starly to do your damage. I have a Starly on my team. We will have a, a like official Starly battle right now. And I don't think I can hit quick attack from here. <gasps> Did we just lose him? No. No, we didn't. Did we just? Okay, cool. Forget. I don't care that you leveled up. We gotta. We got. Oh my God, Buck. Are you serious, Buck? We need to go find this door. Door. He's escaping us. That's not good. We are. Buck. Okay. Where did he go? I think he went down here. Mr. Outlaw. Mr. Mr. Out. No. Is he gone? Is he gone? Were you freaking attack? Walter. Walter. No. He's he's gone. Mr. Outlaw. Can you please come back so I can kill you? Is that him? Is that him? I don't know if that's him. That's not him. God darn it. Where's... I think he's gone, because the music changed. I think that means he escaped. In which case, I'm actually extremely disappointed. That's, I think, the first time an outlaw has escaped. Like, the only other time we failed one of the outlaw missions, I think we just, like, downright lost. That's when... That's when the freaking Bronzong brought the monster house, because that's totally fair. Like, there was... Is that what, there was no way we could have won that with that monster house. There's just so much bogus. But anyways, as I was saying before, uh, does this does this match up? Think he's a part of the team? Is it? Are you him? Are you the outlaw? You're not the outlaw. Man, stop getting my hopes up, thinking that you're like some evil criminal when you're just an, a boring normal criminal. I have already used up. Why am I using quick attack on a geo dude again? Oh, that's right, because I have like nothing else I could use against him. Where, Mr. Outlaw? I think we lost him, and I have to sneeze. Hold on. Sorry about that. I didn't want to have to sneeze in you guys' face. That wouldn't have been very nice, but... Oh, well, I guess since we lost the OA, uh, I will attempt to continue that story, so... Um... No. <laughs> sorry! I just friend... Did I just, like, um, Pokemon friend zone that Spinda? I'm sorry, but I'm not really that sorry, Spinda. Well, I do kind of like Spinda, you know, I think I had one in Blaze Black 2 Egg Lock, and it was pretty cool, but, um, it's, I mean, it's no freaking Caterpie, so, finally, the story, so the NFL draft happened recently, which I'm like, okay, that's cool, you know, whatever, um, and I guess one of the guys who was, like, the 200th person drafted, um, when he ended up getting drafted, uh, this is like the first openly gay football player, I guess, in the NFL, which is like, that's cool, I'm sure he's not the first gay, he's just the first one to have the balls to say it, I mean, come on, you're, you're playing freaking tackle football, that's cool, I mean, I don't think everyone just kind of assumes that, I'm sorry, I just like offended every football player, and I'm, I'm not sorry, <laughs> learn to take a joke, guys, but, um, anyway, so like, apparently what happened was, he ended up, after he got drafted, he was happy, and he ended up just giving his boyfriend a, just a peck, you know? It wasn't even, like, a big kiss, he just, like, pecked him on the lips and then hugged him. And this caused some huge freaking conspiracy, which is absolutely bullshit, in my opinion. This is actually happening, like, people are actually making a big deal over this. And apparently he was actually fined. He was fined because he kissed his boyfriend. Like, he didn't know... I, no one points out the fact that he didn't know he was being recorded and he was on national television at that exact moment. He was just living his life and he got fined and he has to pay pe he has to pay money because he's living his life. Like, what? Are you freaking kidding me? And apparently someone complained because his, his uh, some guy's two sons were watching the TV, were watching the draft. Like, okay, cool, do you just want to pretend gays don't exist? Because it doesn't really work that way. Like, seeing two guys kiss isn't suddenly going to turn your sons gay. That's not how it works. And it's just, I don't know. It's, it's, oh. It didn't even tell us that this was, like, an objective for. What? How was I supposed to know? No, I don't want to leave the, what? That's complete bull. It didn't tell me that it, what else do we have to do? We have to go to... We have to search for Ching Fling. Oh my god. What if we passed it and I didn't know? Why isn't it telling me what... Why isn't it telling me what form I'm supposed to go to? But either way, I think this is... That's so stupid and... America really confuses me because also recently... Um, oh, never mind. There's Ching Ling. 
also recently there was a story of like I guess two guys who have a show on HDTV or something and I guess they'd made some like anti-gay remarks or something I'm not sure about the complete story but because of this they ended up getting their show kicked off of HDTV which is basically the complete opposite of what happened with this other guy like on one hand we're like yeah you know you, we should support gays and you shouldn't be anti-gay like if you are you're gonna get your show kicked off television apparently and then all of a sudden it's like oh two guys kissed on television uh no and people are like boycotting sports center because it's just like are you freaking kidding me what is wrong with you people seriously let people live their lives okay i don't care what you do who you screw as long as it's behind your own doors, okay? If I don't have to see it, you can do whatever you want as far as I'm concerned, okay? But, I don't know, freaking people. And it just made me think that it's so stupid how, like, apparently being, like, anti-gay is, like, viewed as, like, a huge crime in freaking America. Um, of course, according to, like, the TV show that got kicked off the air, people got so upset about it. And yet, like, in most states, gay marriage still isn't legal. Just... America! Fuck you, America! Okay? Fuck you. I'm sorry, but... Canada, okay? Actually, I have no idea what Canada's like with gays. I'm assuming they're like, yeah! Penis! Woo! And I bet, I bet, if it was two, like, the whole sports center thing, if it was two girls kissing, it wouldn't have caused nearly as much of a controversy. Because straight men like lesbians. Straight men don't like gay la gay guys. It, wait, what's even happening? Quiet, please. I'm sorry, I got freaking distracted and, and angry. Anyways, now just re I just received word of this. Another time gear was stolen. Oh crap! Another time gear. Another one got stolen. <laughs> yeah, uh, is it maybe the one in Fogbound Lake? Yep, yep. No, it wasn't. The stolen time gear was not from Fogbound Lake. Apparently, it was from elsewhere. But that's the second time you're to be stolen. It would be extremely bad if a third one to be taken. Now, rest assured that I have full confidence in you all. But I must make one thing very clear. You must never tell anyone what you witnessed during our expedition. Understood? Of course. I don't have a big map. Uh... Hey, I would never forget the promise me way to you, see? Okay, okay, okay. Quiet, everyone. Sorry to keep you waiting. Without further ado, 100 marks, get set, ciao! <laughs> Why Great Tuff never even eats the perfect apples, he just dances with them. Just before dinner, Chatbot said another time gear was stolen. Yeah, I was there. That's two now, I can't imagine who's been stealing them. What would anyone want with the time gears anyways? I just don't understand. I don't know either. But when I was at Fogbound Lake and saw a time gear for the first time... When I saw the time gear, why did my heart start pounding so wildly? I must be reading too much into this. My pulse raced when I saw the time gear. And the time gear being stolen... No, there's no connection at all. You know, when I think about it, Walter, I get this feeling that our expedition to Fogbound Lake took a place a long time ago. Wasn't that view fantastic? It was like being in a dream. I wonder how Yuxi's doing. I wonder if he's well. Oh, that's sweet. Um, I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have tr- Soon after they left, another Pokemon would come. But this one, it stole the time gear. I should have done it. I should have taken their memories when I had the chance. No. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but you're wrong. No one led me here, no one told me about this place. I've known about the presence of the time gear here for a long time. I have no quarrel with you, but I am talking, taking it with me. The third time gear. Why is Grovile doing this? And I don't, that's not like a whole, like, why is he doing it? I genuinely don't know. But that's the fun thing about playing through a game, like, mostly blind, is I don't remember a lot of stuff. Oh, Adam, it's morning! Ah, good morning, Walter. 
See, now I'm out here. What the heck? But I guess that's going to wrap it up for us today, guys. Why is Grobile stealing all these time gears? Maybe we'll find out some more information soon. And does Pokemon Eric, does this town have a time gear? Because that could be really, really bad. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button down below. Until next time, I'm Marty Yo.